All right, we're going to talk about it. The realities of home remodeling on a budget. Designer Rachel Clark is here with us. As she often is, but this time she speak, she, the, she is the story. Yes, because you're going through it. I am. Oh. You still have your hair. You haven't torn it all out yet. I haven't. I, I've, I've had my moments. I'm not <laughs> going to lie. It is so, it's, it's so stressful. Tell us a little bit about this. So you're, you're renovating your kitchen. How yes. long have you lived in the house? Oh my goodness, eight years. Eight years. And okay. I have waited eight years for this moment. Right. Well, uh -huh. very often it's a, it's a, it's a, and you were talking about you would like I to do, do mine, your kitchen. I want to do mine, but I don't want to yeah. put up the hassle. What I, what, yeah. Here's the funny story. I was telling Rachel this earlier. When my wife and I decided that our last home that we needed a new kitchen, we moved. <laughs> right. We did the math. I mean, sometimes yeah. that's not always the case, and it, right. it turned out for other reasons it was a move that we we wanted to make. But but that's how difficult yeah. it can be. You almost want to avoid it. Yeah. Yeah. We will be in this house um, for a while, and the kitchen, which I think next month we're going to do before and after pictures, okay. so you will actually see the crazy transformation. But um, we. We definitely want to get the money back. We're at our max budget just about <laughs> right now. We do have a couple more expenses, but overall I did stay on budget. Okay, so how do you do that? Where are places you can maybe say, I don't, maybe I don't need the top of the line there. Where can you Well, so I'm using Joe Potenza in the city of Rochester, Quality Kitchens. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he's a single guy there by himself, just him. Um, really great small business owner um, he's been doing this for 30 years and my contractor Dean French is really great I met him through another client project mm -hmm. um, and you become friends you know when you work together and they're both or or enemies yes. or enemies <laughs> right, but okay, in this but... situation no I really felt so comfortable with with Dean. well that's important so step step one is find somebody you're comfortable with and communication is huge and then you have decision after decision after decision to make as Jen asked where are the places you can make a, a decision to save money? Where else? Where is? Where is it better to? Where is it better to just spend? I I went with Joe because he was a kitchen. He's a kitchen designer. He it you know it was uh, you know he didn't have other clients there at the same time or customers waiting mm. in line like you do at Home Depot or Lowe's possibly. I went with a really decent cabinet that was hardwood, mm -hmm. um, but really reasonably priced. Um, and that was really important to me. I wanted a wood cabinet okay. and when he priced it out for us and Dean priced out his labor and it worked for our budget. So you can price shop and I think referrals huge. So if you know people that had their kitchens done, who did you use? Mm -hmm. What did you like about them? You know, that really helps. The hard part for, for redoing any part of your house, but especially probably your kitchen, is, is the inconvenience factor. The yes. fact that you're not going to be able to use it for a yeah. long time. Mm -hmm. It is, let me tell you, it is dirty, <laughs> dusty. We took some walls down, so the whole house, they, they are great and they put plastic up, but let's just be honest, you will have drywall dust everywhere yes. in your house. You will have it everywhere in the little nooks and crannies. You know what, I cleaned the house for five hours a couple of weekends ago, and it felt good just to get the house back, and then they had to come back. I did have a delay a little bit here and there. Things happen. And that's the reality. It's not fun to like have to wait an extra couple weeks for things, but guess what? It happens, and I've had a really great attitude about this, that we have a home and we have food, so let's be happy about those things. Yeah. Real quickly, running you know, out of time, people have seen these samples, they want to see maybe the final result. Where can people find you on social media? So I'm on Facebook, uh, Rachel Clark Designs. I'm on Instagram, Rachel Clark Designs, and rachelclarkdesigns.com. So, I mean, we can get all the progress there. Be Good right luck. Back. Thank you. <laughs>